You guys know... Like he wants IRL or online, what do you mean? Like, uh, so gambling is banned in a lot of places. Um, like even in the state that I'm in, it's banned. But there's, you know, a coastline here. There's a beach here. And so what a lot of people will do is they'll just go onto the boat um, and it's like a very expensive boat. It costs a lot of money to get on there, like $2,000 for like a ticket. And then they'll go out into international waters, which I think is like 18 kilometers into the off the coast. And then boom, that's it. Gambling allowed. Now they're in international waters. So the state laws don't apply anymore. And so like Ooh. there's a lot of these. Oh, I see, I see. Yeah, there's there's a few of these boats that already exist. And cruise ships do it already. You can go on a cruise ship. Even if you're in the United States where gambling is not allowed in most places, in most of the states, um, you can go on a cruise ship and, you know, go out to sea. And uh, gambling is allowed when you're 21, but, you know, you can go out on a cruise ship and they'll let you know, like they'll make an announcement on these cruise ships. Okay, if you're 18, you can gamble now. Anyone that's 18. And they, they all go to these casinos and they all gamble. And so there's a few boats that already do it, but... My thing was I had some ideas for it, like getting people with like a lot of like internet points, a lot, of, a lot of clout, right? And getting them and just basically paying them to show up on the boat and making it like a very high class, you know, make it like an exclusive, exclusive club, right? Like an exclusive poker club with a super high buy-in, like $10,000 buy-in and make it only for like big businessmen and celebrities and actors and musicians and that kind of thing only like the people that can actually afford it because nobody's done this with a gambling boat yet nobody's made it like a very big like a like a club thing and this is like the same idea behind like selling high ticket i like very expensive items like in drop shipping because you know if you find the right market and you have a million dollar product you only need to sell it once to get a million dollars and if you have a one dollar product you need to sell it a million times so, and nobody's doing this with gambling boats. Nobody's um, selling to like the very, very highest, like top end buyers. I've been on one of these gambling boats before, just with my friends, just like we tested it out as like a little vacation for one of my friend's birthday parties. And um, it was like the worst experience. Like it was so dirty and ugly and like it's, it was like not well maintained. It smelled bad, smelled bad and all stuff. And it was like, if somebody did it right, it could make so much. It could be like a big thing. Like on social media, people would talk about it and people would reserve seats and things like that.